Hello, I would like to mention a few things. How was it when I was uh, kidnapped and held by Rambadur Bomjon on the chains in the jungle? Uh, in 2012, from uh, the 28th of December uh, 2011 till the 24th of March 2012. Uh, there are certain moments which uh, I would like um, the followers of Bonjon to understand and as well uh, people who are new to the whole topic and uh, the general public. How can you survive uh, being tied by, a, by half meter long chains to a tree in Ramba Durbomjon, the Buddha boy's uh, jungle in the open, uh, when they are still not just put you there, but they are coming there to torture you, beat you. Uh, and in the last months even sexually uh, abuse. So, um, there are many videos I had made uh, about explaining the factual things, when and how uh, they had been taken me there and what they were doing to me. Because there is a lot of things in three months, a lot of details, a lot of things. Um, I didn't really speak about the, the my own feelings. Maybe some people uh, had the feeling, oh, I had like a, like a system just to tell it quickly and um, there are a lot of secrets I cannot even tell. Uh, secrets for the reason that it was just uh, such a hell, such a terrible experience that uh, I have realized when he did this to me and when I was already in his hands, it could be told, that all this world and all his followers are totally misguided and me myself was extremely misguided. Actually, uh, I have counted recently Rambo Durbomjon and his followers because he always involves his followers into his crimes. Uh, they had uh, kidnapped, abducted, uh, held, locked up, or chained, or tied, and tortured for uh, 72 people minimum. Uh, it's in my article Rambadur Bomjon Controversy, a very highly read article, and uh, I am um, elaborating it in different, different articles and videos. But just imagine, please, uh, I'm only one of 72 people, so what kind of terrible suffering, what, what a burden of torture, of suffering, of terror, and physical pain and, uh, and fear of death had all these people experienced. I must tell you that when, you know from my previous videos that I was a follower of Bonjon, but before Bonjon was not even born, I was already an accomplished yogini. Accomplished means that, according to my yoga teacher, and later I realized from Yoga Sutra and other uh, books on yoga, I went through the eight uh, levels of Ashtanga Yoga, of Patanjali system. But uh, I did it spontaneously and uh, I went to the highest possible level in a human body which uh, brings you to a decision to choose either to go to so-called Parinirvana, it's a good expression from the Buddhist system, or just stay in the human body and uh, continue uh, samsaric, it means worldly life. Uh, I was 16 when I started this yoga and uh, I was 
19 when uh, I reached the aim of yoga. So it's nothing for um, being proud of or boast about. And I actually hardly ever read, wrote about it or spoke about it, especially to people who are connected to Rambom John, because they are absolutely illiterate concerning the spiritual and mystical path and concerning yoga and religion. So uh, yoga is not a religion, of course, sorry to if uh, someone is thinking ha 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 she is religious and yoga is a secular system but uh, being born in a secular family i was focusing on the yoga and through yoga i went uh, to the levels which um, allowed me to believe in god uh, which brought me to the realization that yes all these religions which we hear about like a teenager i was hearing about christianity buddhism they do have a real substance a real reason a seed from which they had been evolved and humans made a system of the religious experience which is of course which is samadhi and uh, the highest highest levels of samadhi but in this video, I don't want to speak to you about my own spiritual path. I just wanted to let you know why I actually did uh, survive Rambohatur Bonjon's extreme torture. The torture was not only physical, uh, because there are many people who can survive physical torture, but the torture was um, in a big percent uh, spiritual torture I don't know how to it's, I cannot even say mental because it's all connected to um, an area of the of our consciousness which is already more than just psychology it, it's spirituality and even in that level even in that area Rambadur Bomjon uh, is torturing his victims um, so he looks after every area of your being so that you suffer at every level and I am yes this is a kind of warning as well but the problem is that I know how it is to be a follower and then you just uh, hush away all this this is not possible was what these victims are saying there is a conspiracy they are evil they are witches Bom John is spreading this lies that we victims had been witches and we, we are jealous of his attainment. Actually, uh, Bonjun's attainment is not attainment, but this will be in another video um, to understand who he is and what he wants. But I was telling about my spiritual attainment because I want to let you know that the attainment of yoga helped me to survive Bomjon's extreme hellish torture and not only on the physical level but because uh, just imagine uh, when all what you lived for um, 35 years of your life the spirituality and yoga and uh, eastern philosophy and western as well because i was studying and practicing kabbalah i was studying and practicing mystic uh, christian mystics as well and i was a person before the torture of bomjon um a very very enthusiastic person for all kinds of spirituality and uh, I was searching for the the common common seed of all spirituality, and uh, Bomjon. I was taking similarly like today. Many foreigners are taking him, like a person who would, through his own experience, who would kind of unify the religions and the spiritual paths, but not unify in a way, deleting them, but showing that they have all a uh, common ground. But this was this is not the case. And when he captured me suddenly uh, on December 28, and uh, he held me uh, slowly, I had to realize that even uh, his very tough 
tapasya, what we believe that he was in an ascetic, uh, ascetic path, that it's not spirituality. Because he is actually not doing tapasya. He is doing, he is making tapasya to other people, the people from the very beginning. His power is coming from torturing uh, us victims. This is a so-called magical um, association, which I will explain in another video. But actually, he was torturing people like me. But I, at that time, in 2011, I was still, like you, many followers now, convinced, 100, 200 percent convinced that Anything he is doing to me and to others, even if it looks hard, even before that kidnapping, he already kidnapped me once and he hit me uh, by hands and I was not crying. And people told me that uh, after he hit me in October 2011, for one night he kidnapped me, uh, that all my face were, was swollen and blue and of course I didn't see with my eye because it was swollen from his hitting. And uh, Tomek Tarnowski Dorjeb, the Polish follower, he's still with him, his main torture assistant, had started to spread to people that Marici, my spiritual name, Marici is certainly a bokshi, I mean witch, because if she was a human being, she would cry or shout or request for mercy. So even my yogic attainment, my self-control, self-discipline, and even my, at that time, great devotion to Bomjon and trust that even if he beats me, it's, it's for my good. Even that, the Bomjon's followers are twisting against me and they create uh, false legends that I am sure, certainly a witch because I was not crying, not weeping when Bomjon was beating me. Uh, by the way, the same Tomek Tarnowski Dorje, the Polish guy, was spreading lies about really unbelievable, but the, all the foreigners, even the Netherlands, Ivy Juga, were believing in these lies, that he had seen me uh, elevated in the air, like the, we have these fairy tales with the witches on the broom, that he had seen me in the air. And it had to be in the same day when they had captured me and tied my hands with plastic ropes behind my back so strongly that my blood circulation stopped. So I was asking people in emails on Google group, come on, how can you believe this stupid um, idea? Because if I was able to elevate myself to the air, levitate, uh, then how could they catch me that very same uh, day and tie my hands? So I could, I could have escaped. But uh, Rambonjon makes those people brainwashed in such a way that they are not even thinking logically. So when they captured me, so this is in conflict with the claim that just a few minutes before I was elevated in the air. Nor, uh, neither I was uh, elevated in the air, nor they were able to capture me. or there, there must be one or two things true, and the truth is that they did capture me. So, um, just uh, like a test, just like a preparation to understand you, the mental, uh, uh, the atmosphere of Rambahadur Bomjon's ashrams and his followers in his cult, what they are believing in total illusions. So, at the time when they captured me again in December two. two 2011, 28th of December, I was already living outside of this whole crazy world of Rambomjon. So I was staying with normal people, and I was, but I was still believing Bomjon has something uh, spiritual, something deep in him. And when he called me to arrive to Hal Korea that day, because that was the reason why he could kidnap me then I was still trusting him that he has, on a spiritual level, he has something to share with me. Uh, like I am a deep meditator and he certainly had to recognize it, um, that I have behind me, when he was not even born, I have this yogic path behind me. 
uh, and uh, the only thing I have chosen not to boast about it, like he is doing, and not to speak about it, but enter the samsaric worldly life and uh, do my prayer for the world and do it in a in a secret way because this is Kali Yuga. Uh, we cannot openly speak about deep spiritual things. So I saw that Rambomjon recognized it and he wanted to share with me some spiritual, very deep things uh, because he did uh, affect me on a spiritual level as well. He, I cannot claim that Bomjon has no Siddhis and uh, no miraculous power and this and this, but uh, this charisma, uh, but that is not a white Siddhi area and not a white charisma, it's, it's a black thing. It's, it's uh, a topic uh, for a different video. So in this setting I had been kidnapped, so I allowed him to do what he did to me in the beginning, in the first days and weeks, uh, because there are also, we read a lot of legends about Milarepa and uh, Marpa, Narupa, a certain area of Buddhists and uh, especially the Zen Buddhists of Japan and Korea accepted this kind of uh, uh, hard Buddhist philosophy that a, a master is kind of allowed to show the, to teach the disciple in a very hard way. But these are only legends actually. And that there had been kind of beatings by sticks and, uh, but I think Westerners, Westerners and modern Nepalis nowadays don't understand what is behind all this so-called hardness of the guru to the disciple. And they misuse these legends for their own cults. So now, now you have a lot of gurus uh, <laughs> spread all over the world who are uh, misusing these legends that yes, a guru is kind of authorized to torture, harm, even rape his disciple because these are like cleaning the bad karma of the disciple. Okay, so even if me, I never was 100% accepting this kind of philosophy, but when you are inside that universe of this illiterate Nepalese and uh, these legends, uh, you are influenced by it. And, and still inside there was a strong um, recognition from my side that of Bomjon's spiritual power. So I did, yes, I did trust somehow, I believed that he has something to offer on a spiritual level. And when he invites me, then there is a certain reason. So I did suffer in the first days and weeks. And at one or two times, even Chekulama, who was witnessing my kidnapping, they allowed him to return and visit me through the window. Uh, the, there was a grid or the, on the window. And I was already tied to when I was keep kept in a house in the first days until the chains had been bought by just Badurwai, but to tie me in the jungle. So that time when Chekulama came, I just calmed him down, don't worry, don't worry, this is my karma, Chekulama, I want to go through this, I want to know what Bomjon, uh, what he has to share with me on a spiritual level and blah blah blah, you would say. So I was also living in this illusion and quite uh, long weeks, even when I had been already chained to that tree, I was not protesting, I was not weeping. I was not, uh, I was shouting just in the last, last weeks when I had been already raped by uh, Dar Darshan Limbu at the order of Bomjon, because that was not spiritual at all anymore. And then I realized, aha, uh -huh, there is nothing spiritual in all, all this. But many weeks, even in the beginning, when they were beating me, torturing, breaking my hands, I was still somehow although very depressed, why, why, why? Because you don't understand your sins. Because, <laughs> of course, the way of Kundalini, way of yoga, it, it opens your own inner uh, conscience and you clearly know what are your sins and what are not. 
And uh, when Dom John was torturing me, uh, the main problem was that they never explained me why. They never told me what did I do wrong to whom, because I arrived to serve him, to translate his, his teachings. I arrived like a volunteer to help him. And I arrived to actually, uh, what is very paradoxical when you already understand his situation, but we had been fooled, we foreigners, through this internet, that he is a poor teenager who is sitting in the jungle, surrounded by rogues, and there is not a single spiritual person to protect him against these rogues. So, literally, I wanted to protect him until he uh, arrives to a certain level in his meditation, because I myself had an experience in meditation, and I knew how important it is to protect the meditator um, when, for example, there are certain uh, levels in the meditation when you lose your, you go out from your body, you don't have body conscience, you ha hardly breathe. And so in, this, in these levels, I was thinking that, yes, as I know this yogic path and I am older, Bomjum was like my child, so I have to protect this boy. But when I arrived to Nepal, I see that he's surrounded with uh, very tough uh, bodyguards and uh, very wild-looking lamas and uh, civilians. And there is already a system of rules and regulations and barbed wire fence and uh, weapons. So then you are shocked. But it's already too late, and you still want to find out something um, spiritual in all this. I'm just watching the clock, uh, how long I should uh, speak. So, when Bom John uh, captured me, uh, in the first weeks I was still praying and meditating a lot. And I must tell you that my main prayers and meditations at that time were it was my habit to bless Bomjon, to send my energy, to send my... Uh, I was praying, I was having a system of prayers, kind of puja, to Devi Devatas uh, in Nepal. I was doing it in Nepal only, uh, because the land is uh, absorbing this uh, Hindu and Buddhist system. So you are just, uh, you are just influenced by that. So I was asking all possible Devi Devatas and the highest God to protect Bonjon. Can you imagine? That's absurd. Yes, I know. But because I am a yogini, I am not like a normal person just he kidnapped from the street. He's kidnapping yoginis, he's kidnapping spiritual people because he wants to, to squeeze out our spirituality. He wants to destroy the spirituality through us, but and uh, blaspheme everything what is spiritual. So I was still turning uh, my prayer and blessings towards him, and I was confused, of course. Yes, I was confused, getting confused. Why is he torturing me? So when he ordered uh, his followers to unchain me during the three months of my torture uh, on chains, when he came just two or three times personally, and actually Bom Darshan and Dorje were beating me. But at one point he ordered at night, midnight, I am describing it, the midnight beating video. Uh, he unchained me, let me unchain and bring to the public place so that all his followers are witnessing it and become accomplices of him. So he beated me like a dog. It was just terrible. And later on, Larshan told me, Guruji told us he's going to, to, to kill you by beating at that night. But you didn't, he didn't kill you, so I'm surprised, Darshan told. But yes, I did have a feeling that if it's continuous like this, this beating, 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 I was in chain and on the floor, on the ground, I really thought that it's my end. And at one point he pointed the stick to my neck. So I was thinking, aha, so I am going to be killed now. So I just wanted to know in my last moment, Guruji, uh, why are you 
torturing me. What is my sin? I have the right to know what did I do to him or what did I do to whom. If I live most of my life as an enthusiastic meditator, praying and for spirituality and honesty and goodness, uh, what is my sin after all? 